And on to the next one. So now up with me, I have the absolute pleasure of being joined by Dan Bulva of the Bull Token. How are you, Dan? All right? I'm good. Thank you very much. And hello to everyone watching and appreciate your time, Max. Really do appreciate uh, it. Yeah, not not a, not at all. It's quite it's quite nice actually to be speaking to a fellow Brit because we're very rare. We we seem to be dominated by the Americans in the in the crypto market. Do you think that's has that been your experience? Definitely, yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't really know many British people. I know there's a few guys on Hedera who are who are British, but as you, as you say, it is a fairly American market, isn't it? Currently, so there's not many Brits around. So yeah, Respect it is indeed the British. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got to stick together. So <laughs> yeah. Um, so so you're the. Is it just yourself, or are you the are you the founder? How would you describe yourself with the Bulvar um, meme coin? So there's two founders. Um, I'm one of them, and James is the other one, aka Silver on Twitter. And yeah, we're we're friends in real life, and we've been discussing this for a long time. Um, and we launched in July 2023, and we were talking about launching a, a meme coin prior to that for months, and whether it was actually a good idea. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it's been in the works for a long time, probably a year. And, yeah, we launched in July 2023, and it's just grown beyond our initial plans, really. And it's just tumbleweeded into a massive thing now. It's, it's huge. So, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of it, and it's been a lot of work. We'll yeah, that. I bet. So, so, so just on that, then, just before we kind of get into the token itself, if anybody's watching this and they're considering um, starting their own token, what, what's that process been like for you? What, what would you recommend? plan it and whatever plan you have won't work basically so it doesn't matter how well you plan it and how well you think out and you have to plan for every single scenario and then some and then it's something else will still it's not something you can just make in your hash pack wallet and release and then go there you go guys buy it you need to build the community you need to build your brand and the community is the most important thing because without the community, uh, we are nothing, really. We're just sat there stagnant on Saucer Swap with a, um, an LP doing nothing. So, yeah, it's, okay, it's, and it's, so important, it's important. So, so yeah, of course, yeah, it's a, it's a community-centric uh, endeavour. So you're sat there with no one in your Discord or your group or, or wherever it may be. How, how do you get that? How do you build that following? How do you build that community? How did you do so, it? We have been in HBAR for a long time. I myself personally have been a holder for a very long time, but before Source of Swap, before Hashpack, I was in and out of HBAR. And when I joined the community, probably in 2022, just at the start of COVID, I would say, is when I started being an active community member on Twitter. So we already knew quite a lot of people. So our core community of friends, I would say, on, on Hedera were were, were the, the boons. So we actually formed a council with those guys and they helped us market ball. And our first sort of idea to market it properly is what everyone is doing now is airdrops. So we made an NFT called the Ball VIP Pass and we promised to airdrop 2 billion coins over a period of six months, 12 airdrops. So once every two weeks. And we've since concluded that. So our final airdrop, is this coming Friday? And that will equate to two billion dropped in total then over six months. It's been um, it's been epic, man, to be honest. Like, and I'm I'm kind of glad the airdrop side's over and done with. So yeah. All right, okay, yeah, I can tell that the expression on your face. You're looking forward to the end of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you yeah. mentioned that have a plan and and but be but but be prepared to pivot or you know, sort of change it because it will get changed for you. Can you can you allude on that a bit? What what kind of issues have you hit? What struggles have you had? Um it's just struggles with the uh I'm just, I'm just trying to think. So with the NFT side, we didn't really plan that out properly. Um it could have I, I wouldn't say we didn't plan it out properly, is it it could have gone better. Um you know, like the price was starting to pump on H bar, and we had made our white paper saying it was this price. And when we had done that, it worked out like twenty five dollars an NFT. And obviously, with the price going up, we had to drop it again, and we kept dropping it. And in the end, it was just a bit of a mess on that side. So, and we, we've only been to that one phase of our N NFT um, bullish balls now, and we're planning our next phase. But we really want to make, we want to wait for the market conditions to to better, because. Um, I don't feel now is the right time to be doing the NFT side because the focus is on the tokens now. 
uh, the focus is on DeFi. So, yeah, and we're hoping to use Ball to mint with next time. So any Ball that um, people have, they can mint our NFTs and we'll burn that Ball as well. We're not going to keep it. Um, so we're going to make our token more deflationary than it already is. Um, yeah, so um, I've kind of gone off a bit there, haven't I, mate? <laughs> but, okay, don't worry. Uh, so you priced, so just... what you're saying essentially is that you priced your NFTs for sale in in HBAR rather than in fiat. So that um, yeah. what that led to was that if the price went higher, you had to drop the price, drop the amount of HBAR to keep the price the same. Is that what you're saying, effectively? That's it, yeah. So we yeah. wanted to keep it in US dollar value that like the whole time throughout. And in the end, it was just the wrong time to launch our NFT project, I would say. But it's it's turned out all right, you know. Um, I'm, I'm more than happy with how it's gone now. And we can learn from that because until you've done something, you don't learn. Um, I'm not I'm not one to sort of say and, you know, everything's gone perfectly, but everything has turned out really well now. And we are extremely happy with how it's progressing. So but you, you, you can't plan for some stuff. It's just impossible. Like there's always something where the community aren't quite happy with it. Um, that's why our council is really helpful in that sense, because we've got 10 people in our council and we can go to them and say, what are we doing wrong? How can we change it? So, and that's it. And we try and pivot as much as we can, um, even though we have a plan, but I do like to pivot on that. So, <laughs> no, that's important. I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. It's good to have a plan, but you've also got to be ready to respond to an ever evolving um, uh, situation. So that's, that's really important. And it's also good that you've got those 10 people that you can trust and that you can go to and get advice and feedback from, and they can act as a bridge between you and, and, and the community, presumably, um, and, uh, and help you as a soundboard. So what's so is is um, bull? Is it a meme coin in the truest sense? In that it offers no utility and it is just a speculative asset. It's good fun and that's it. I mean, I was having a chat with Grelf and he he was he was very much of that camp. He was saying, "Look, this is a meme coin. There will be no utility. That's it. Take it or leave it." Uh, where does bull sit in in this sort of spectrum of meme coin like Grelf all the way down at one end, and then? Karate combat token at the other. Yeah, we are very much like Grelf in that sense. We're not promising any like u utility tied to it. I mean, we we have a farm on Saucer Swap, and people can go in and create a liquidity pair and earn interest on that. They earn eight an APR paid out by Saucer Swap. Um, but we we don't really we're not going to really say that we're going to be doing anything else with with that coin because. Um, well, we can't really. It's just it, it. It would tumbleweed into thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of dollars if we wanted to do anything serious with it, like create a DAP or something. It's some. It's not something we would rule out, um, but it's something that we're not doing that currently. We need to focus on building our community first and onboarding people to Hedera is a really important thing for us as well. Um, I've been in crypto for six years, and I've tried all the layer ones. Starting off on ETH, I used to mine ETH. I still mine. Bitcoin and Casper. I've got a little mining rig in my garage that's solar powered. Um, so, but we've stuck on Hedera because we love it. It's fixed transaction fees and it's fast. That's it. Um, so, yeah, onboarding people is really important to us as well. Definitely. That, that, that's really cool. Um, so, look, looking at the token, then you have 44 billion total supply. Is that hard cap? No, no yeah, it's hard cap. No keys. Yeah, nothing. We can't change that. Um, we can burn supply using DaVinci Graph. So, that's basically not burnt though, because we don't have keys. It's locked in a wallet, and the wallet is uh, locked in a contract for a hundred years or something like that. So unless I live to one hundred and thirty-eight, um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't touch those those ball tokens. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's good. And you you did say that with the with the NFT and the drops and the burns that it's going to be even more deflationary. What did you mean by that? How how deflationary is it? What's your plans? We've burnt so far 7.69% off the top of my head. Um, yeah, so we've burnt 3.3 billion-ish. And with our NFTs, if we could get another billion from our NFT sales, which you know does have US dollar value, and we can burn that and take our burnt supply up to 4 billion, then we're burning what well, 4.4 billion would be 10%. And that's what we're hoping to do. But with the DaVinci Graph tools, they're amazing at the moment. We've also got a vested contract of bull coin that we decided to lock up for a year because we just don't need it yet. Um, we know we are 
looking at to create some more liquidity pools with future projects. I can't really talk much about that yet, but some of them are quite serious. So we have a treasury wallet with a small, a relatively small amount in at the moment, and the rest is vested. And if we can't find a use for those other tokens locked up in a year, we will burn them as well. So wow. <laughs> it, it could end so, up being twenty so percent. Wow. So just explain to people who aren't too sure what you just said there. So effectively, what you're saying is you have some tokens there. Now, as the creators of this project, there's nothing stopping you dumping them, selling them on the market. But to prove yeah. that that's not your intention and that you're here for at least a year, then you lock those yeah. tokens up to prove to people yeah. that you're not going to be dumping them on the market. Is that that's basically it. what you're saying? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, and everyone can go and see those contracts. They're on the DaVinci Graph site. So you just go to token or liquidity pool lockups or, or liquidity pools locked up as well. Um, they can go and have a look on their website and see our vested tokens. And it's something like $60,000 worth of vested tokens now. So, wow. um, and with our burn token, that's about $33,000 that, that we've burnt. So yeah, it's quite a large amount of money that we've just basically thrown away in that sense. But um, we wanted people to be confident in our project. And, and I think we have gone about it the right way with some of the other stuff we've done with KYC and Docs with big, tiny brands. We're one of the only mean projects to have done that, to my knowledge, on Hedera. So the right people know my address. So um, I can't mess this up, Max. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take this seriously. This is a business for me. I run a business in real life, and I'll take this just as seriously because <clears throat> people's money are involved, and I don't want to mess this up. I, I, you know, I lost money on Luna a couple of years ago, and it was um, it tears your heart out when you lose big chunks of money, and I don't want that to happen. Obviously. The coin trades, it goes up and down. People buy, people sell. We have no control on that. So, yeah, the rest is out, out of our hands, really, in that sense. Yeah. It's really good to hear. And I think that you've done everything reasonably practicable to demonstrate to the community that you're a legitimate uh, business and that you are looking for, you know, you're, you, you, you've you got the most reason to to be um, invested in and trusted in the meme coin yeah. space, yeah. which I think is, you know, is um, it's commendable. You're just looking at the price then. So we're currently, what's the price today? Do you know? You must know. What is it? Five zero seven. It was, yeah, it was down a little bit today. We had a bit of a sell, a but yes, yeah, it's, yeah. it's still up on the month and it's up on the year quite well. We outperformed Source, um, you know, for a vast majority of of, of this year already. So um, wow. I think it was due a li little bit of a pullback. But um, yeah, our liquidity at the moment. Let's just have a look. I think it was over about one hundred and thirty thousand dollars all in. Total, yeah, totally uh, uh, valuation at the moment is three hundred thousand pounds. Yeah, so more like four hundred ten thousand dollars uh, with a twenty-four trading uh, vol of volume of six and a half thousand dollars, which yep. is respectable. Yep. Um, uh, does that represent good value for bull token, or where where do you see it being? Where would you uh, you personally? I mean, I understand people understand watching my stuff that this is not financial advice. This is your personal yep. opinion. Where, where would you like to see it? What's the dream? Where would you like to see it? Well, I do think that some of the other coins um, like Source Inu and Grelf, they've got massive like market caps now in, in comparison to some of us, um, which are sort of lagging behind a little bit. So uh, ideally, I, I do think there's more value in our coin and um, and there's more room to to grow our project. We've got plans. Uh, we're not stopping here. We've just got our source of swap farm. We've been listed in C14 um, on ramp in Hashpack, so I had a good uh, meeting, so people can go and buy ball with Fiat now. Um, we have default listing on Source of Swap. Um, yeah, we've basically done done all of that Coin Gecko listing. We've partnered with other projects, so yeah, I'm just um, we just have to sort of carry on, build our community, and in, most importantly, build trust. Because I think with with um, a project like Grelf, I'm going to use them as an example, is they've been around for a long time and people trust them so um it's just sort of you know that's why i come on your show um because i wanted people to see me and see i'm not some you know just some random dude on the internet who's made a coin um and that i actually do know what what i'm doing <laughs> to a certain extent <laughs> so yeah i just you know our price is sort of fair price at the moment i would say um it's had some good buys over the last month and now would be a fairly okay time to get in, I would say, um, because there is definitely room to grow. I mean, our market cap hit half a million dollars a couple of weeks ago, and it obviously had a bit of a retrace because we was up um, about 200% on, on the month. So, yeah, um, yeah, it's just 
just playing well, our, playing our cards right, isn't it? Really, those are those are really impressive numbers because I think sometimes people don't realise that some some people I've spoken to um, who aren't necessarily uh, Web three or crypto natives they yeah. they see the price and don't appreciate that you can still have fantastic growth and fantastic yeah. Um, yeah. price action increases uh, decreases too, but you can have those massive increases just. It's the same difference whether it's whether it, it goes from a pound to ten pound or whether it goes from five one to three one. The exactly. increase is, is relatively the same. Yeah, yeah, that's like something I had to um, explain to my partner, to my to my to my wife that um, it it doesn't matter if the token's a thousand dollars or it's got like five zeros before that. If it goes up ten percent, it goes up ten percent. So, and if it loses a zero, it loses a zero. Um, and either one can do exactly the same. Um, it's just based on the supply and um, the amount of volume you get, really, and, and the buys just add to the uh, liquidity pool. And they've, hopefully everyone's happy. Um, you can see on Deck Screener, which is a brilliant tool, if anyone is in DeFi, go on Deck Screener. You can see everyone's P&L, so everyone's profit and loss. And some people have made several thousand dollars on our coin. And um, I love to see that. Um, people have, have made money, so I'm I'm happy. <laughs> in Good. that sense Good. <laughs> and is this a long-term project for you for you personally i mean are you going to be with this project for a long time do you think yes definitely um i feel like i have a massive responsibility now and it is a lot of pressure on your shoulders um if it was easy everyone would do it but it's not easy you know it's not just making a, a like a shit coin i'm gonna sorry from swearing and sticking right. it in your wallet and then just releasing it to the wild it doesn't work like that um you know, we've really put in some time into this project and I've learned a lot on the NFT side. Even though I've been in crypto a long time, I'd never set up a liquidity pool myself. I'd always just put money into a liquidity pool. So I learned how to how to do that side of things. And with the NFTs and dealing with hash packs, brilliant, brilliant. Without that wallet, we'd, you know, doing our airdrops and stuff like that with it now. It's, it's so handy. It really is, really is handy. So, so yeah. Oh, that's, that's good to hear. And, and, it, and it seems to be getting easier as well. The user interfaces, the, the yeah. interoperability, everything seems to be getting easier and easier. We still got, I believe, for Web2 customers, we've still got a long way to go, but it's yeah. certainly getting yeah. easier. And and I mean, on the weekly, things are getting easier. Yeah. I mean, look at, yeah. look at the likes of Galaxy and, and Karate Combat. I mean, their apps yeah. are seamless, aren't they? And their app's great fun as well. Like the Karate Combat is just, you know, you, you can stick on a bet and it's done. <laughs> you yeah. don't have to worry about it. It is brilliant, yeah, man. Yeah. Like... Yeah, a couple yeah. of clicks. It's done. Yeah, it's, it's it done. is fantastic. This is just the beginning, I believe. Yeah, and I, and okay. I do think Hedera has does have the edge on the others. Um, I, I have tried all, all of the layer layer ones. I've, I've tried all of them, and um, I was stuck between Phantom and Avax for a long time. And they've got brilliant communities, and the DeFi on Avax is amazing. And if Hedera can grow like that then wow we're all in there for a, a pleasant treat um I'm, I'm hoping for anyway <laughs> okay so a quick question um yep. if you're not allowed to pick your own what are your and you can put them in order but you don't have to if you don't want to what are your favorite okay. three other hts tokens um source i hold um source is probably my biggest in my portfolio at the moment on my hedera side um i love source um I just think it is the it is the number one dex, isn't it? Really, and they've been really kind to us, giving us the default votes and allowing us to sort of become part of the community. Um, Dovu, I quite like Dovu. I missed out on this massive pump recently, and I'll, I am looking to add more. So please sell some Dovu, and I'll buy it. Thank you. <laughs> and um, well, Ball, um, I've actually bought a lot of my own ball so i have invested can't in my choose, own product can't choose your own. you can't choose your own I can't choose, you, okay um so you've got sauce you've got dovu one more not ball one more okay um let me just have a look i'm just trying to think really i don't really there's hash there's hash coming out with hash pack which people seem very excited about there's uh yes. lehman coin unlucky h suite um jam with tune fm Da Vinci um, coin. I totally forgot about that. I've just uh, yeah. participated in their pre-sale. So I had the NFTs and I was able to get a pre-sale for that. So Da Vinci coin I'm looking for. And of course, pack coin. I think that's going to yeah. be massive. Like if that yeah. pack coin does, does well, um, that will bring people to Hedera. And uh, people really underestimate 
how powerful um, that wallet can be. And and meme 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 coins they bring people in. They they do bring people in. They they make so much noise. And if people can see price action, they want in, don't they? So yes. I, I do think yeah, I, I think Pack Token is going to be massive, like probably the biggest one yet. I would say. I, I, I think so too. And I've actually got a chat with Hashpack about exactly that uh, later yeah. today. So I'm very much looking forward to, to that one. That'll be an interesting conversation indeed. Yeah, definitely. And I am excited for it. I'm just sort of waiting on their tweets now and seeing how I can position myself for it now. <laughs> Everybody's hanging on every word. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's funny. <laughs> so is there anything else as we start to wrap up now, Dan? Is there anything else you want to just say to the community before we go? Um, no, not not really. Just that we are still here. Um, obviously, we've we've climbed some massive mountains and we've conquered we've conquered them. We've got our farm. We've got our default list in. We are primed now. We're ready. We're rocking. We're working on our next steps. Um, we are looking at you know working with some more projects as well. Definitely, we have um, partnerships already in place. One with Da Vinci, Kabila, our, our NFT projects. Um, so anyone can take. Our NFTs with a CWAS lens trait and go and get 7% off the Kabila uh, content creator platform. Um, so thank you, Manu, for that. Manu, also, we, we worked with Manu because uh, Kabila did our art for our NFT project. So we work closely with Manu and um, I've made really good friends with the Kabila team. Um, yeah, we're, yes. we're just we're just working hard, man. We're, we're figuring out the next steps and planning our next mint phase carefully. And I want to thank everyone who's is stuck with us and had the patience and you know been in our lows and been in our highs so you know people have been there right from the start and that's just amazing it really is so yeah, that's nice you. to have people go on the whole journey with you that's amazing yeah, and where do people it. go if they want to know more about a bull have you got a website yet yes yes we have um, bullbarcoin.xyz and they can join up our discord as well if you go onto our twitter all of our links are there and you'll be able to follow up follow wherever you like really but our main community is probably in our discord server now it's quite an active community in there and all of our links and information and i'm always in there to answer any questions if you want to jump on a video call with me more than welcome i will jump on a call with anyone so yeah more than be more careful than that be careful, yeah. very careful <laughs> in that, my friends um, there might okay, be some guys, caveats put, <laughs> yeah yeah, we'll put an asterisk on the top of the screen. So I'll put links in the description below, of course, for everything that Dan's just touched on there, including their Discord. So if people want to check that out, just have a look at the links in the description below. Dan, thank you so much for your time. I think you're a real uh, gent. You seem you seem really legit. And I, I, I wish you all the success with your project. And I might even be getting involved myself. I might buy some money. <laughs> all right, awesome. Thanks, Max. Appreciate Perfect. it. All right. Take care, buddy. All right. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.